If it was uh, packaged like this, this is how, how sin looks. Look, if, if I brought that up to you, you would immediately think, well, that's very good and kind of you. I could say, hey, Cindy made some delicious cookies. <laughs> I've got them the, on this nice, nice pedestal. It's all about the packaging, the allure. If sin looked like sin, lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, the pride of life, it wouldn't be an issue. If sin looked like this dog tree, I didn't even know this was a thing. This is dehydrated beef trachea. I, I didn't even know that was a thing, but apparently someone's dogs like to chew on a cow's trachea. Weird. Super weird. But if the devil walked up to Adam and Eve or walked up to you and said, Hey, have a bite. I'm sure God didn't want you to have this. All, none of us would have a problem resisting. We'd be the holiest people around. I will not have your beef trachea. I shall resist. Right? That's not an issue at all. But if the devil walks up to you with this tray of delectable goodness. Look at this. Yogurt covered delights. Look at these ones look like the, the ones from, remember Grandma's circus cookies? Right? These ones right here look like little ice cream cones. And this one right here looks like those Hydrox cookies right there with the delicious frosting inside. This is how the devil comes at us. Every single day spending millions and millions of dollars through ad campaigns to convince us you are an animal and you deserve this treat. And initially we'll resist. Initially we'll say no. But the longer this is in front of us, the more often this is in our social media feed the more we just kind of wonder. There might even be some of you in here that's kind of like, what does that yogurt topping taste like? <laughs> you're, you're probably asking yourself right now, if no one else was looking, I might be tempted to take a bite. You see, the longer that it's in front of you, the more it's going to go after your heart. It wants your affection. It's got your attention. And now you just wanna. <laughs> the yogurt is really good. <laughs> There's a slight um. What is that? <laughs> yes, please. Liver. I think it's liver. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, the first bite of sin tastes delicious. Otherwise, Eve wouldn't have offered it to Adam. But it's the aftertaste of sin. Then <laughs> we really need to wash it. <laughs> Yeah, have no problem saying no to that. I'm not going to bite into that. But this right here, you and I, we fall for it all the time. All the time. And it's all about the lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. It plays to our cravings. If everyone was walking around eating dog treats, if the media instantly started saying, guess what? We've discovered the best form of nutrition for you isn't in your refrigerator, it's in your pantry in your dog food. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if that, based on what I've seen in the media lately over the last couple of years, everyone would start eating dog treats. All they gotta hear is over and over and over again, and pretty soon it's got your uh, attention, now it's got your affection, and you and I are doing stuff we never would have considered doing before. So how do we not give in to the craving to find ourselves eating stuff we never would have eaten before? 